Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we will learn how to install Android ADB driver manually. Uh, right now, my phone already connected to my laptop using USB cable, and I already enabled the USB develop developer mode and already enabled the USB debugging. You can see, right? I will right, right click, right click on the Windows Black and click. File Explorer. As you can see, this is my Red my Redmi 3 phone already connected as MTP. And right click on the Windows flag and click Device Manager and click Yes. You can see in the other devices, my ADB interface Android already uh, is in error or have ex exclamation mark. So how can we solve it? First click Google Chrome and then type IDB driver. First you need to connect to internet. And then click get the Google USB driver link from developer.android.com. and then scroll down and then click to get the zip file of your USB Google driver and scroll down and then checklist and then click download the Google USB driver and then click open the folder and then extract all click extract and then click USB driver folder and this is the driver.enf for your US, your Android. Click this link, link and copy and go back to your device manager and then click the ADB interface that have exclamation mark. Right click and click update driver server. Click browse my computer for driver server and click let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer and then click so double click on show all device and then click have this and then bro click browse and then go to the to the play, to the place where your driver located in my in my case it is in users thoughts freelance and on downloads and scroll down to the USB driver at 13 windows and click USB driver and click the Android dash win USB dot ENF double click and then click OK and then click Android ADB interface and click next and then click yes Windows will give you warning about this driver click yes and then click close now you can see that the uh, ADB Android interface now move from add other devices to Asus Android devices device so you can you can make sure that uh, it is you can now uh, invoke ADB command using uh, you can download or you can download from SGRGPI I will use SJRGPY as example. So this is my SJRGPY. You can download from open Google Chrome and download SJRGPY. I already make this video. You can check. You can check in my channel. You can download this from here. It includes the adb.exe. Now, open the adb.exe from SGRGPY. Click. First, you need to extract. Extract this. Already extract the file. Now you can click file and click open command from here 
and click ADB devices to detect your device so now the ADB already successfully detected your device but still in an un un unauthorized it is because you need to OK uh, when on your need to click OK on your Android phone click I click OK and now I will repeat the command again now it changed from an authorized to device so right now I can uh, assign or invoke the SGAR GPY because it already detected now I can see that I can control the pawn using my command using the SGAR GPY ok that's it how to install and one more thing you can uninstall this you just right click go back to device manager and click uninstall it will take you to restart your computer okay thank you that's it from me i hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe like or comment down below thank you